In a speech to the UN General Assembly in September 2017, President Trump distinguished the good people of Iran from their government. The entire world understands that the good people of Iran want change, that Iran's people are what their leaders fear the most. Five days later, the White House issued a new travel ban that made no such distinction. It bars almost all immigrant and non-immigrant entry into the U.S. by Iranians indefinitely, criticized by civil and human rights organizations for discriminating against mainly Muslim-majority nations. The ban, which also applies to seven other countries, was set to be implemented as of October 18, 2017. Two federal judges suspended it before it could be implemented. But the hold is temporary, and the ban could be reinstated the moment a higher court rules in favor of the Trump administration. If the travel ban is reinstated, it will mean the 500,000 strong Iranian-American community can no longer have their family and loved ones from Iran to come visit their sons, daughters, and grandchildren. Scholars and professionals won't be allowed to attend U.S. conferences. People will be unable to come to the U.S. for surgeries or specialized care. Iranian athletes will be barred from competing at American-hosted sports events. The U.S. will not benefit from future Iranian immigrants who have produced leading scientists, tech leaders, doctors, engineers, renowned artists, and business leaders. And Iranian human rights and democracy activists will be blocked from visiting the U.S. and providing vital testimony to NGOs. President Trump's travel ban describes the Iranian government as a source of significant terrorist threats. But this ban doesn't impact the Iranian government in any meaningful way. Instead, it targets millions of Iranians who are themselves victims of a repressive government and who want better relations with the U.S. Collective punishment is neither in the American interest nor compatible with its ethical standards. Contact your elected representatives in Congress today and ask them to pass legislation to rescind President Trump's travel ban once and for all.